Hello, Aide. Are you there? Hi, teacher. Hello. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Okay, good. Did you register yesterday? Did you send yeah. that? Okay. No problem. No problem. Okay, good. Then you are ready. Ready for the next yeah. course. Okay, good. Yes. Okay, fine. I'm ready. <laughs> Did you finish all the exercises on the platform? Uh, so, so. <laughs> so, so, okay. But try to finish before uh, Friday, right? Because Friday, this Friday, the 22nd okay. is, the, is the last day. Okay. So then try to complete the um, exercises. If you have questions, let me know, right? So that we can figure out in case you have a, a problem. Okay. But they, but they finish uh, um, the course. On Friday, in three days, three days, Friday, May 22nd, okay, so that's going to be the, the last day. Okay. Okay, good. All right, hello, Eric. Hello, teacher, good evening. Good evening. Where have you How's been? How's it going? All right. Uh, I had troubles yesterday okay. to connect it. But so nothing, sorry. Nothing serious. No, it's okay. Nothing. No, it's oh. nothing serious, but complicated, you know. Oh, okay. But you solved the problem. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Already. That's that's a good thing, right? That's a good thing. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Uh, did you see the material I sent today? Yeah, I, I, okay. I saw, but but I didn't do it. Sorry. No, yeah, okay. because I have been with the problem today. Okay. No problem. No problem, Eric. Okay. Good. George, how are you, George? I'm fine. Fine. Okay. Sounds like good. Right. Stay home. Yes, I. Okay, that's good. All right. So then, uh, no problem. Everything is okay. It's, I, it's okay. Yeah. okay. I work every day. All right. Yes. But in your house? No, in my in my job. Oh, you have to go out. Yes. Okay. And you you go by car or by bus? In my car. Okay. Yeah. Good because the traffic sometimes is terrible, right? It's more traffic. To travel by bus is more more dangerous. Yeah. Uh, in case. Okay. All right. No, we teacher, have. Teacher. What happened? We had to finish uh, the entire model by Friday. Yeah. No, by Thursday. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 We will. Even the final exam. Uh, the final exam, you can start doing it now if you want, little by little. Okay, okay. Uh, Friday, because there are some the previous topics. Okay. The previous topics, uh, you we already started, right? Because I already did the mirror exam, but I didn't do the, the final. You fin but you're done with the middle. You finished. Yeah, right? yeah. I I did. I did. Uh -huh. right. Finish the middle, right? Yes, you can begin with the uh, with the other one too. Okay. okay. And then uh, to to check how you're doing. Okay. While the others uh, show up, we're going to watch this video. This is related to the topic that we studied at the end last night, and what we are going to study a little bit today. Okay. Hello. In English, we'll be looking at four verb patterns, and there's a quiz at the end of the program, so listen carefully. Mm, so, on with the show. 
Our first pattern is verb plus gerund. A gerund is the ing form of a verb. Words like seeing, complaining, and giving are all gerunds. And here's Catherine. Hello. Hello. Hi. Yeah. To give us some examples of the pattern verb plus gerund, Catherine. I really enjoyed seeing Rachel again last night. Jackie kept complaining, so I went home. Would you mind giving me a lift to the station? Thanks, Catherine. So we had the verb enjoy plus the gerund seeing. We had keep plus complaining. And the verb mind plus the gerund giving. Good. Enjoy seeing, keep complaining, mind giving. Other verbs that can be followed by gerunds include finish, practice, suggest. And recommend.、Uh, suggest. So I can say, I suggest keeping a list of verbs that take gerunds. <laughs> Very good. Good example.、Thing. Thank you. Now for the second pattern, verb plus infinitive. An infinitive is the word to plus a base verb. For example, to see, to drive, to study. Some examples, please, Catherine. I really want to see the football tonight. My brother's learning to drive. Mario's hoping to study medicine. So that's want to see, learning to drive, hoping to study. Other verbs in this group are agree, decide, choose, and learn. Now, for the third pattern, these verbs can be followed by either a gerund or an infinitive. Without changing the meaning, some examples, please, Catherine. I've started learning Arabic, and my boyfriend started to learn French. So, started learning and started to learn have more or less the same meaning. Now, another example, please. Snow will continue to fall in the mountains, and temperatures will continue falling throughout the night. Ah,、uh -huh, so continue to fall and. Continue falling have the same meaning. Okay, time for pattern four. Yes, and this one's a bit tricky. With some verbs, you can use either a gerund or an infinitive afterwards, but and it's a big but. Yes, the meaning changes from gerund to infinitive.、Mm, so if I say. I stopped drinking coffee last week. Well, I probably wouldn't believe you. <laughs> yes. Well, this means I drank coffee regularly in the past, but last week I decided to give up coffee. I completely stopped, and now I never drink coffee. Hmm. But if I say, on my way home yesterday, I stopped to have a cup of coffee. This means that yesterday you interrupted your journey and you went into a cafe for a cup of coffee. So very different meanings. Yes. Here's an example with the verb remember. We remembered closing the door. We remembered to close the door. Okay. In the first one, we formed a picture in our mind of us closing the door. The second example means we didn't forget to close the door. You're listening to BBC Learning English. dot com, and it's time for a quiz. Question one: Which is correct? A. They decided taking the train, or B. They decided to take the train. Okay, which one do you think is the answer? A or B? B. They decided to take the train. Okay, so this is B. They decided to take the train. After decide,、yeah. we need the infinitive. Yes. Number two, A. Catherine hates cooking in the evening. B. Catherine hates to cook in the evening.、Uh, okay. And that's、hey. a trick question. They're actually both correct because after hate,、okay. you can use either a gerund or an infinitive. Yes. Okay, but that's why I say it's a trick question because there are some verbs that they both 
are correct, right? That you can use the two form and the meaning doesn't change, okay? So this is you okay, know, okay. why you have, this is a matter of practice, right? And, and to use them. But, but you can use both. Yes, in this case with eight, yes. Okay, okay. Okay. In the, in the previous previous one, no. Yes, you can. Okay, okay. Finally, number three. Is it A, do you want to go for a coffee? Or B, do you want going for a coffee? Okay. A or B? A. 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 Do you want to go? Now, this one is A, do you want to go for a coffee? Because after want, you need the infinitive. But... Alice? Yes? You said you'd stopped drinking coffee. Oh, yes, I did. Ah, I got you there. You did. Never mind. Thanks for listening, and don't forget, there's more about this on our website at bbclearningenglish.com. Join us again for more six-minute grammar. Bye. Bye. Time for a coffee? Mm, maybe later. Bye. Bye. Teacher. Did yes, you say at the end of the video, late, later. It's British. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, they say, I'll see you later. Okay, better, remember. Okay, so that's, uh, a, it's a kind of more uh, sophisticated way to, to speak, right? But, uh, elegance, elegance. Ah, sounds like that, right? Sounds like that. But it's British. Also, Amer yes, American English has, a, English has a nice way to speak. You know, it depends on the intonation, the kind of vocabulary that we use. Sometimes we have to use formal or informal, right? Because, you know, this is because it's, uh, let's say they are using formal English. But if you watch probably a, a, a movie, you know, and if, and, you, and if you listen to teenagers who speak in British, British English is difficult to, to get them. But obviously, you know, I like British English because it's very, very nice, very elegant. Okay, good. All right, questions. Do you have any questions about, uh, let's say, the, the topic that we are studying now? Not many? Okay, good. Okay, you got the, the document, right? I... Yeah, I got it. I got it, teacher. Okay, good. Okay, I got it here. Okay, uh, we're gonna check it out. All right. Okay, can you see it? Yes. Okay, I. I sent you, the, I mean, there is more information, right, about a common a verbs followed by infinitive, verbs followed by infinitive and gerunds. Uh, I've sent you a list, but I think it, for the moment is too, too much, too much information to, if I send you everything, right, it would be, you know, a waste, a waste of material. But here, for example, with this one, I guess that you will have, uh, let's say, uh, a wide range, a uh, big variety uh, of ways to speak in English. For example, all these expressions that you see here, that's what they preposition combinations, be excited, be worried. For example, when you say be excited is I am excited, right? I am excited is when I am uh, anxious when I have anxiety to do something, right? And then you say, uh, I am excited about, uh, about leaving 
to the United, the United States at the end of the year. Okay, it's an example, right? Uh, I am excited about uh, eating pupusas uh, this weekend. Okay, so if you see after excited, we use about all the way and then the verb in ing. Okay, I am worried about okay, uh, going out without a mask, for example, okay, a vertical mask. I am worried about, a, let's say, uh, paying, my, paying my house, or paying my credit cards, or, or buying, buying food, whatever. Don't say that, teacher, please. <laughs> okay. And then these are, you know, uh, activities that you can be worried about. And then if you need an action, then that action is going to be in IND form. Okay. Then you have complain, complain about, or you can say complain of, dream about, or dream of. Usually, a, for example, dream about is more American, dream of is more British, right? That's why sometimes there are some variations because it varies on uh, based on the region, right? If it is in uh, American English or if it is British English. Uh, talk about, think about, or think of, okay? Uh, let me see what else. Apologize for, blame for, for example, uh, Blame Peter for uh, bringing me late to my house. Blame uh, Mary for breaking the glass. Okay, so if you see someone is going to, going to insert the name of a person or animal, right? It could be the dog. Okay, blame, uh, let's say blame a uh, uh, what is the name of the, of the pet? Blame a, a, what is the name of a dog? A fir, okay, blame, blame Firulais, right? <laughs> blame Firulais for eating, uh, for eating the food, right? So then uh, this is the way that you can use. If you see only switch the bear from here, into the bear, and then you can have, uh, Keep your, uh, keep, your, keep your baby, keep your baby from listening, uh, from listening to bad words. Okay, keep your keep your children from watching bad programs. Okay, so you know, like protect them, right? Prevent, prevent from, and these are expressions. So you can, as, as you can see, you can practice a lot. The okay. one. The ones that you see would be, uh, you have to conjugate the action, right? I am interested in, you are interested in. If it is in the future, you can say, I will be. I will be. In. Uh -huh. okay, okay, when I when I win the lottery, I will be interested in buying uh, another house. Okay, but this is for the future. Okay, I am accused, I am capable, right? I'm guilty, I will be guilty. Uh, I have been guilty. So the, there, um, there is a mistake there. Where? Will be accused or just be accused? No, I am. Ah, okay, okay. No, no, I mean, you need to I change am. be for I am. I am if it is present. Was, ah, okay, okay. Past, I got it, I got it, okay, okay. Be if it is in future. Yeah, this one depends on the tense that you use. Okay, okay, okay. But the only one that you change is B. Okay. Okay. Uh, be used to, I am used to, remember? I am used to, I am used to working long hours. I am used to working at this time. I am used to speaking English all the time. Okay? So these are the phrases. After this, you have common verbs followed by gerunds. This is the example, right? I enjoy playing, uh, quit smoking, 
give up, this, are, this is in past tense, to give up the smoking is similar to quit. And if you see this a small short list, fair pleasure, enjoy playing, appreciate listening, I don't mind going, quit or give up, and then finish. Another synonym of finish is get through. Okay, I will get through this course uh, by the end of this week. Or we'll, we will get through this course by Thursday. So you know, like we, we will finish, right? And there you have other verbs. And probably, okay, this is another uh, thing important to mention that it says, go is followed by a gerund in certain idiomatic expression expressed for the most part recreational activity. Go bird watching. This is an activity that usually you do uh, in, let's say, the outdoor activities when you go camping. You like, there are people that in like- In forest, to, right? Huh? In forest. In a forest, yes, in a place where you can see a lot of birds, right? Okay. You can see, for example, how the hawk flies, how the eagle flies, uh, how they take care of their babies, okay? Uh, go boating, no problem on a lake. Go bowling, okay? You know, like, Fred, please don't like Los Pica Piedras, right? They go bowling. Uh, go camping, go canoeing. Uh, canoe is or kayaking, right? The canoe is like the ones that the Indians used long time ago. Go dancing, go fishing, go hiking, go hunting, go jogging. So, so if you see, all these are recreational activities. Well, even shopping for some people can be recreational, right? Probably our good friend. Ronnie, who has a lot of money, he, he goes shopping every day. The rich man. Yeah, the rich man, correct. That's right. The tycoon. Okay. Then, oh, he's not here today, maybe. What does it mean, sightseeing? Sightseeing is when you go out only to see. Yeah, go sightseeing is when you go... Just to, to look some something. Uh, you okay. go to the park only to, to see. But you don't, uh, eh, you don't buy anything. For example, let's say, uh, let's go to the uh, Colonia, right, the neighborhood, and then you just go to see, sightseeing. Then you have skating, skateboarding, uh, skinny dipping is, you know, like go swimming, right? Go swimming in a lake, maybe. But then just do some just, just with your just with your uh, with your bathing suit. The sledding is in the snow. Cold sledding, but this is like Santa Claus. The snorkeling, swimming, toboganning, and window shopping is when you go to a mall. Metro Centro. Uh huh. But you are not probably planning to buy but you are only looking at the windows right but when you it's a trip in, on, uh, into the mall right and when you see something that you like yeah they say okay uh -huh. they say, exactly okay. that is that is literally exactly. the meaning that's, the word. that's for uh, for us very good and then this is uh, another other one other kind of expression similar to the first one i show you Special expressions, we had fun playing baseball or volleyball, or not divertimos, right? We had fun, eh, etc. What running, jogging, playing uno, okay? We had fun uh, talking a lot all night long. Eh, we had a good time eh, drinking coffee, okay? Then look at this one, I had trouble finding his house. A problem, right? I had trouble uh, connecting last night. Okay, I had difficulty, uh, you know, uh, let's say, answering uh, the exercise one. Uh, 
let's say on the platform, I had a hard time, you know, uh, finishing the test. So you can use, you can adapt this expression to any situation, right? Then Sam okay. spent most of his time studying, spent, right? Sam spent most of his money, uh, let's say, uh, uh, gambling, apostando, right? Sam spent most of his time uh, gambling or most of his money gambling. I waste a lot of time watching TV. I waste a lot of time uh, texting. Okay. So if you see the creativity and practice of vocabulary is all you need with it. You have like a, you know, like the pattern, right? And the plantilla there for, for you to, to use and practice a lot of errors. And probably this one is also a, a very useful one. This is the one that we were talking about last night. We say, I admit, you can use uh, all these verbs, right? Remember, in any tense. For example, here is the base form on the list. But here, uh, they are using the past tense, right? But you can use present, past. Uh, future, present perfect, a uh, simple future, future perfect, okay, any tense that you uh, that you desire, that you wish. He admitted stealing the money. Uh, he will admit stealing the money. Uh, he has admitted stealing the money. Uh, you can say, for example, uh, he was admit admitting still in the money when when they interrupted him. So it can be like two forms in IG. But if he was admitting is the past progressive and stealing uh, stealing is the gerund. Okay. He was admitting stealing the money when his brother interrupted him. Okay. Uh, let me see what well, and then you can use all of them. You can see this is a list. I mean, not to memorize it at once, unless unless you have an excellent memory. Okay, like they said, if you have an elephant's memory, probably you can do it. But I guess that you will enjoy more if you try to write sentences in a notebook, you know, using different verbs in ING. And that way you practice verbs and they do little by little. Uh, interiorize, okay, kind of memorize these verbs. Okay. Questions? No. No. So far, no. As I told you, I think it's uh, it's not complicated to understand that, but uh, you have to, but you have to practice it a lot, right? If you follow that guide, you know, you can take it as a guide, you know, a, in a reference, a reference list. You have a, I mean, a lot of ideas to speak English there. Okay. Uh, later, uh, you will see the other, the other verbs, like with the other conditionals. Okay. So this is just uh, the beginning. But it's important that you that you will study this verb because I don't know if I told you, if I have told you about the, the, the TOEFL test. Yes, I think you talked one day, right, about it. Okay, in the TOEFL test, if you're planning to take it one day, uh, this kind of vocabulary, this kind of verbs are very frequently used in the, in the readings, right? So this one, uh, uh, phrasal verbs, all this uh, vocabulary is very important. Adjectives, adverbs. You know, this is my recommendation for you to, okay, uh, to, to. I think I think this teacher uh, and the phrasal verbs are the, you know, the begin of the, or is the base to talk with more fluency, right? Oh yes, uh -huh. we can we can say that. If you want to say it that way, yes, I will. I, I would say that too because uh, you have already 
the present, the past, the future, the tenses, right? Yeah, yeah. But after that, you know, you have the phrasal verb, then you have the then the patterns, the different forms of combinations of very, right? You can be able to to how do you say unir? To join. To join the 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 words to make a, a sentence, right? Exactly. With sent. Yes, you have to, exactly. Then you can. Then we avoid, like, for example, you can say, uh, you know, I ad, I admit to to steal the money. I the, the, well, then you know that, um, but it's making a mistake. You know, I admit uh, stealing the money, right? Uh, I can, for example, when you say um, I stop. Uh, suppose that I want to tell you, how would you say the head of Umar in English? Stop smoking. I quit. Oh, I quit. Okay, I quit smoking. If I say I stop. I quit smoking. Okay. And if I, if I, no, both, both, both are correct. But if okay, you say okay. I stop to smoke. No, because. You need to use ing when you are uh, making a no making a adjective to some uh, pronoun, right? Okay. I don't know. Yeah, I am mistake. But is it correct the, the second one? This is you know like like hate. Remember, hate is I hate doing this. Why well, hate to do this? The two forms are correct. Okay, okay. And the meaning is the same. Okay. okay? I admit the stealing the money is correct. I admit to steal the money is incorrect. Okay, two different forms. First, I admit the stealing the money correct. I admit to steal the money incorrect. Okay, a different verb. I hate doing that or I hate to do that. The two forms are correct. Okay, and the meaning is the same. I stopped to smoking is correct. I stopped to smoke is correct. But the meaning is different. Okay, I gave you three situations. Like six, three situations. I stop smoking is I don't smoke anymore. Okay, I stop or I quit the smoking, like you know, like a few said. But you can also if you say okay. stop to smoke. It means that I was talking. Okay, uh, I'm sorry, guys. Give me five minutes. I'm just going to do no smoke cigarette. So I stopped the class to smoke a cigarette. I stopped doing something or I stopped uh, to do another activity. Okay, I stopped the car. I stopped the car to buy some food. I stopped the car to put some gas okay or to buy gas right so then you see that the meaning changes but the forms are the same. okay and this is you know when you have these are the bell patterns you know like patrones right you make the uh, birth in different situations and that's what you have in the uh, in that list right uh, in that material you know an idea on how to use the at least the ing form Okay, but don't worry about the others yet, right? So right now, just start, you know, practicing with this one. But I'm giving you this uh, in advance because I want you to be prepared for the future also, right? For future learning. Ah, okay, you, you know, Luis said that before and then there are other ways. You know, you have an expectation that there is more than this, okay? Because I know this is the only thing, uh, don't worry about the rest, and later if you find another thing, it's more confusing. Okay, good. Now, uh, let's, I'm, gonna, I'm going to share the platform to, to see we have a uh, uh, knowledge check. Okay. Uh, well, I see Xiomara is here. Okay. Hello, Xiomara. How are you? Hello. I'm fine. Okay. Great. Can you please read instructions here uh, and the example? Okay. 
instructions. Uh, read the following phrases and use what is uh, what is in brackets in order to make statements. Follow the example. I enjoy spending time with my friends. I enjoy spending time with my friends. Very good. So we have the first one here. I don't like. What would be the, the sentence? I don't like. I don't like. Commuting. 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 Commuting by bus. Then by bus. By bus. Okay. I think we didn't make a mistake. Next one. I'm not very good at learning learning language languages. Okay, I'm not very good at learning 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 languages. Uh huh. Foreign languages. Foreign 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 languages. Language foreign languages. Okay, pretty. Okay, I am um, good. 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 Uh -huh. uh, it's solving other, uh, solving other people problems. problems. Other people. I'm good at solving, solving problems. Other people problems. Solving. Other. Uh huh. What do you say? Other. Other. other, other. other. People, uh -huh. problems. possessive. Remember? Yeah. Possessive. People problems. Problem. The problems of other people. Problems. Correct. Okay. Okay. There, this is a mistake here. We're missing the e, and here we're missing an o, right? So then, uh, I hate. I hate, I hate working. I hate working with a group or team. Uh, with a group or a team. Or a team. A group or a team. With a group or team. That's mm -hmm. one A, right? Or team. I think it's, uh, it's the opposite. With a team or okay. Remember that in this one also uh, I hate working or this is the bear uh, the bird I was telling uh, you I can be I hate working or I hate work. to work. I will see, okay? I can. I can? I can stand sitting. Stand. Uh -huh. sitting, I can sit sitting, sitting, sitting in a long meeting. In a long meeting. In a long meeting. In a long meeting. A long meeting. All right. Six. I'm interested. I'm interested in managing. In managing. My in managing time better. My time better. In managing my time better. I'm better. My time better. Okay. Next one. I don't mind. Talking on cell phone. I don't mind. Talking. Talking on cell phone. Talking. Cell phone. Talking. Am I talking? I guess on a cell phone. On a cell phone. On a cell phone. Cell phone. And the last one. I enjoy eating lunch 
I enjoy out every day. I enjoy eating lunch out every day. Okay. Eating, eating lunch out. Out. Every day. Okay. Got it? Uh, we'll see. Okay, we have, I enjoy eating lunch out every day, no problem. I don't mind talking on a cell phone, no problem. I'm interested in managing my time better, no problem. Uh, I can't stand sitting in a long meeting. Okay. I hate working with a group or team. Okay, I work with a team or group, right? Okay. And I am I'm good at solving other people's problems. And I take care. But look, here says problem. Here says problem, but here it says problem in the app. Okay, but it should be with S. Okay, I'm not very good at learning foreign languages. Yes, okay. And I don't like commuting by bus. Okay, so we have like commuting, good at. Remember that after good at all the time, we use there like, I'm good at solving, I'm good at learning. I hate working. I can stand. I can stand sitting. Stand is tolerate. I am interested in managing. I don't mind talk. And I enjoy eating. Okay. Questions? Okay, remember that, well, try to always, when you, when you are uh, doing these uh, exercises, when you are in the box, don't forget to, uh, to put the period at the end of the sentence. But sometimes just because of this, you can have a mistake. Okay, good. All right. Anthony, read the next one. In this session, you will notice and practice releases and unreleased sounds. Okay, this is release. Release. Um, yeah, because this, I mean, this A is extra. Okay. This and unreleased. And unreleased sounds. Uh -huh. okay. This is correct. Okay. All right. Now, let's listen. This is with T and B. Hi everyone, we want you to get better on your pronunciation. Please listen and practice as many times as you need to. Pronunciation. Unreleased and released. T and D. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice when the sound T or D at the end of a word is followed by a consonant, it is unreleased. When it is followed by a vowel sound, it is released. Unreleased. She's not good at math and science. I hate working on Sundays. You need to manage money well. Release. He's not a good artist. They really hate it. I need a cup of coffee. On your own, complete the following sentences and say them out loud. Watch your pronunciation. Remember, the more you practice, the better you get. Part A. Listen and pronunciation. Unreleased and released. T and D. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice when the sound T or D at the end of a word is followed by a consonant, it is unreleased. 
When it is followed by a vowel sound, it is released. Unreleased. She's not good at math and science. Okay, if you hear this one, it says, it's not good. It's not good. Then you can see that it's uh, like a separation, right? It's not good. At math and science. At Okay. I hate working on Sundays. You need to manage money well. I hate working on Sundays. You need to manage you need to manage money well. Released. He's not a good artist. And here you say he's not a he's not a good artist. Okay, he's not good. And here is not a not a good art good a, good artist not a good artist okay this is release or relax right so usually the uh, for example then you say for example he's not a good artist then you link the t and the r not a good a good a not a good artist it's not a good artist they really hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. I hate it. Okay. I need a. I need a cup of cup of. I need a cup of coffee. I need a cup of. I need a cup of coffee. All right. They really hate it. I need a cup of coffee. On your own, complete the following sentences and say them out loud. Watch your pronunciation. Remember, the more you practice, the better you get. Okay, good. In this session, you will develop the skills and listen for main aid. Okay, perfect. And let me see. Okay, Gio, can you read the, the instructions there? Yes. Instructions. Listen to people talk about the kind of work they are looking for. Check the job that, that would be the best for each student. Okay. Got it? We'll talk about kind of work they are looking for and check the job that will be the best for each student. Okay. First, listen. Listening. Job hunting. Part A. Listen to people talk about the kind of work they are looking for. Check the job that would be best for each person. One, Bill. So what kind of job are you looking for? Well, I haven't made up my mind. I love working with people and I love traveling. I don't want a job where I'm stuck in an office all day. I want to get out and see the world. Are you interested in working in business? That's where you can sometimes make good money. I'm not really interested in making a lot of money at this point in my life. I'll worry about that later. Two, Shannon. What kind of career are you planning for yourself? I don't know. I think I'd like to have a job where I can help people. Everybody else in my family is in law or business. You know, boring stuff like that. That's just not for me. I know I'd like to work overseas, though. Maybe in a children's hospital in a developing country. But that's a long way away. I have to get into medical school first, and that's not going to be easy. Three, Ben. What kind of job do I have in mind? Well, I don't want a regular nine to five job. Eventually, I'd like to get into acting, maybe even break into movie. But I guess that won't happen for a while. So what are you doing in the meantime? Well, I work out at the gym nearly every day. I need to be really fit. 
And I'm taking acting lessons as well so that I feel comfortable in front of the crowd. I just had some pictures taken to show to agents in the city. Would you like to see them? Sure. Page 66. Exercise 5, Part B. Listen again. Answer these questions. 1. Bill. So what kind of job are you looking for? Well, I haven't made up my mind. I love working with people, and I love traveling. I don't want a job where I'm stuck in an office all day. I want to get out and see the world. Are you interested in working in business? That's where you can sometimes make good money. I'm not really interested in making money at this point in my life. I'll worry about that later. Two, Shannon. What kind of career are you planning for yourself? I don't know. I think I'd like to have a job where I can help people. Everybody else in my family is in law or business. You know, boring stuff like that. That's just not for me. I know I'd like to work overseas, though. Maybe in a children's hospital in a developing country. But that's a long way away. I have to get into medical school first, and that's not going to be easy. Three. Ben. What kind of job do I have in mind? Well, I don't want a regular 9 to 5 job. Eventually, I'd like to get into acting, maybe even break into movies. But I guess that won't happen for a while. So what are you doing in the meantime? Well, I work out at the gym nearly every day. I need to be really fit. And I'm taking acting lessons as well so that I feel comfortable in front of the crowd. I just had some pictures taken to show to agents in the city. Would you like to see them? Sure. Okay. Did you get ideas? Some of them? Yes, yes, yes. Let me try to get back to okay. All right. What about the flight? Bill. Flight attendant. Flight attendant? Flight attendant? Yeah. Flight attendant. All right. What about Shannon? Doctor. 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 Uh, doctor. Okay. Duck. And then? A model. Model. It's a model. Yeah. Okay. There you go. So those are, you know, the main ideas about dumb housekeeping, right? Okay, good. Okay, the next one is at the end of the class. We will add to this for the driving personality traits. Okay, but I guess that we're gonna do that one tomorrow because right now, okay, so we have some uh, chance to to look at the list, okay? Uh, please look at the list that you have uh, with the verbs, and you can probably choose, uh, let's say, Okay. Well, in the in the list and the material that I sent, look at the look at the list of verbs or let me see the one that says fourteen. Six special expressions followed by A and G. Okay. And there you will find the expressions such as we had fun, we had a good time, we had trouble, I had difficulty. <clears throat> and I want you to use a, a sentence invented or created by you. Okay, with those expressions. Okay? 
for example, the first one. Let's say we had, we have a, we had a, let's say we had fun a, playing with, uh, playing in the garden. Okay, we had fun having barbecue uh, in the backyard. All right. Okay, try to tell me a sentence. Only with the bare fun. No, I mean, you can use. Okay. A, we had a it good time. I had trouble, I had difficulty, a span, any sentence from A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. I can say one. Okay, go ahead. My daughter spends most of her time watching series. Watching. On his table. Okay. Watching a series on her uh, tablet. Okay, good. That's a good one. I have one. Okay, go ahead. I, I like uh, spending my time, my free time, going to the movies. I like uh, to spend my time. I like spending my time going to the movies. Okay, that one. Okay. Uh, see the first verb. How you use it? Spend. I like. I like it's spending. Oh, you say spending. I like. You're using two. Okay, yeah. good. I like spending my time going to the movies. Going to the movies. All right. Yes. Okay. Good. Okay. Go ahead. Tell me more sentences. Jesse, this is your your chance to practice. I love sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I like spending my time I... sleeping all day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Tell me a sentence. I I uh, I enjoy uh, I enjoy reading. Uh, I enjoy reading a good uh, a good book in the evening. In? In evening? Yes. Okay. Very good. I enjoy reading a good book in the evening. Perfect. Okay. Uh, or, uh -huh. Don't only don't only sleep. I read. <laughs> yes, and then you sleep after reading the book. Uh, ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. In this order. Uh, yes, that's good. In that order. Yes, uh, Jose or who wants to? I. Okay. Go. Mr. Mando. I like. Uh -huh. I like to using my I like using my cell phone to video call to use to make to make video use calls. Zoom. Uh -huh. Okay, I like using my cell phone to make video calls. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. Very good. Nice sentence. Okay, I, I like that. I like to spend my time listening to music. I like to spend. I like to spend. No, uh, Diego says I like spending. Okay, but now I just says I like to spend. I like to spend my time. It, uh -huh. My time listen to music. Yes, I like to spend my time listening to music. Okay. The two forms are correct: like spending or like to spend. Good. Okay. Thank you, Ida. Very good. Another one. We had practicing the phrasal verbs two weeks ago. We. Had practicing. Uh, we had fun. We had fun practicing the phrasal verbs two weeks ago. Okay, we had fun. Okay, you can use how uh, we had fun or we had a good time practicing. Okay. Uh, yes. I hating. I hating uh, meeting soon with my, uh, with for for work. I hate. I hate it. No, I hate meeting soon for work. Okay, I hate meeting uh -huh, through Zoom. To, uh, through Zoom for work. Okay, yes. But it, Richard, is that correct to say 
I hate. I enjoy. I enjoy cooking and new food. I enjoy cooking. A new food. New food. Yes, without a. Ah. I enjoy cooking new food. Yes, that's correct. Uh huh. What else, Xiomara? I would like to say another one, teacher. Okay, go, Diego. Um, I regret having a crush on her. I regret having a crush on her. A crush. Is that correct? A crush, a crush. on her. Is that okay. correct? Yes. Okay. I regret. <laughs> okay. Good. It sounds like if you had a broken heart. No, no, no. Not yet. <laughs> i just kidding. Okay. okay, good. I regret. You know, everybody, the meaning of regret? Yes. Right? Regret is arrepentirse, right? I regret having. I regret doing something. Okay, Sumara, go ahead. I regret to to abandon my English class. I regret abandoning my English class. My English course. Uh -huh. Oh, my English course. Uh -huh. That's correct. Okay. So remember, after regret, the verb in ing. I regret abandoning. I I regret quitting. Okay. My English course. All right, who else? Anybody else? Okay. Come on, you can do it, fellas. Come on, yes, yes. Tamara, you're there. Hello. Okay, yes. Tell me a sentence. You see a regret. No, regret or any other, any, any other verb from the... Material. I play soccer. Every I use the same. <laughs> I regret. Um, how do you say uh, abrazar? Hug. 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 Hugging. Hug. Hugging. I regret hugging all my family. <laughs> <laughs> regret. Okay. Ah. <laughs> yeah, because the coronavirus is is impossible. Yes, it's because of the uh, social distance. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, I got it. Yes, in that case, you know, after that, you have that sensation that something happened. Okay. Teacher, yes. Uh huh. Yes. It's correct. It's correct. I like using my two computer. Uh, Excuse me, I like using my computer to work. Yes, no problem. Mm. Okay, good. Teacher. Yes, I have, Jonathan. One. I have Jonathan. I miss playing soccer every Sunday. I mean, me too. <laughs> yes. Okay. But it, yeah. That is a sad, they, sad they, one, man. So, uh, so, <laughs> yeah. Yes. So do I. They say, I miss so, yeah. playing soccer. Very so sad. That, that is the saddest thing that. We 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 heard tonight, right? We have heard tonight, right? Yeah, the saddest, <laughs> the saddest. Yeah, yes, it's true. Okay, good. Uh, who else? Uh, George Lemus. Uh, I have problem with the file. I can I cannot download it. Ah, okay, you don't have it. Okay, yeah. good. Well, well uh, then try to download it, okay? And, yeah. and let me know if you can, right? Then uh, probably, or uh, in case you have a problem, uh, in a private chat, you can send me your email if you want, and I can send it through email. Sometimes okay. the email is easier than the WhatsApp. Okay? okay. Try to do it. Internet. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, good. Uh, anybody else? Sibel, did you say a sentence? No. I had a good time dancing in your party. Okay, good. I haven't had a party yet, but I'm <laughs> glad you enjoy it. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoy it. Okay, everybody. Okay, uh, then tomorrow, we're, I think that we're almost finished in the section number five. Uh, you can begin, uh, I don't know, I don't know if you can post. If you can post uh, the 
you can start doing the, the, the final test, right? Uh, it's a Friday. Remember that it has to be finished, everything. Uh, make sure that you have all the exercises in the, uh, on the platform complete. Okay, if you have trouble with the platform or something, because re remember that sometimes there are details, let me know, okay, so that we can figure it out. Sometimes I Teacher. see that somebody asks a question in the chat, but you, there is another uh, classmate that uh, helps, okay, and I see that it's correct, I don't say anything. And I like the interaction. I really like the interaction that you're having in, in WhatsApp because you're doing it in English, and that's good. Because you ask for help in English, and then you give help, uh, you know, some uh, assistance also in, in English, and that's good. This is a nice way to to practice you know, your English because you are uh, interacting in, in the moment and in a different manner. Okay, so you can do it. And if I see something, then I I can I can help you. Yes, Eric. Thank you. Okay. Well, I just I just, I just want to say. You if you, I don't know if maybe somebody doesn't know, still can check his program, see progress in progress bottom on the platform. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. yes. Uh, let me see now that you mentioned that. I guess. Uh, yes, when you have to. Okay, uh, if you want to see the progress of you, when you go to the pro, uh, platform, this is what Eric says right here uh, on this uh, label here on this progress. Half, you will see progress. Okay. And for example, I here I am as a student. If you see, for example, because I don't I don't submit the exercises that I do with you. I only show the answers okay i never submit quah, quah, quah. ah yeah exactly you can see for example ooh, my goodness look at my grade okay so i i have a lot of problems okay? but you can see here for example the section uh, the section one then you will see zero of 100 but he, he will tell you okay the score so you can see here the second section the third one and the midterm you can see your grade at the same time and back to the future. And now here you can see the last uh, section that we are working on and the final exam, okay? So in this section, you can see if you are missing something or how you are doing. And remember that the minimum is 80%, right? Okay, so that you can check and see before Friday and, and let me know, right, if I can give you a hand, it would be my pleasure. Okay, so then, uh, yes, I guess that we have some, uh, tomorrow I think that we, we will be almost done. And on Thursday, we can have a review of questions and, and practice and probably take a look at the final exam. Okay, everyone. It was finally, a pleasure. Finally, Friday, teacher. Excuse me? He finish uh, Friday? We finish on Thursday, the classes, okay? Two more classes, uh, but the program for you, it will be open until Friday. Okay. All right, so then uh, you have, but the, the last class is on, on Thursday. Thursday 21st, and then on Friday 22nd, you check that you have completed all the all the platform, all the exercise. And you know when we are started the, the new level, the I new model. That's that's what they are they are giving you less time now because I think they want to start on Monday or Tuesday. Okay. Next week. Next week. Okay. We are supposed to be twenty fifth. Ah, the twenty fifth. So it's Monday. Uh, May twenty fifth. Yes, that's that's Monday. Okay, so they want to start yeah, Monday. Quickly. That's why, uh, have you sent all the documents? Yeah, I, yeah. I did it. <laughs> yes, if you haven't, then you can I do did. it. Do it quickly so that you can be registered for the next uh, level. Okay, everyone, so have a very good night. Have mm -hmm. good dreams. Have a good night. And dream okay. in English, okay? Night. And 
rest. Okay. I will finish to uh, to watch to watch dozens. Which one? On Netflix, the oh. last the last dance about oh, the last dance. bulls of hey, Nairis. Have you seen this movie, uh, Vendedor de Sueños? I think in Net no. uh, in Netflix. I didn't see. It. Well, I didn't watch I, it. I recommend that movie. Okay. Okay. Vendedor, Vendedor de Sueños. I, yes, I think it's a uh, it's uh, from it's a uh, Brazilian, but it's in Spanish. But okay. It's excellent. The, movie. Excellent. Movie. The the Brazilian movies are are so great. At yes. Very. Spectacular. Yes, this this movie. I mean, you can watch it, and there are there are a lot of. Uh, there is a good message. There is a very good message for every person. But of in, course, uh, in average, English with subtitles in English, right? No, that's in Spanish. I guess I saw it in Spanish. I didn't. Uh, I mean, I think. Okay, it's, okay. I think it's because it's Brazilian. Probably. Okay, okay. Uh, okay but okay. anyway, if you can watch it in English or Spanish, or it's a good movie. Just watch it. It's a, it's a nice. Okay, teacher. Okay. okay, good. Okay. Have a good, good night. night. See you tomorrow. Okay. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.